Today, I'm finally oh. riding the fastest train in the world, running at up to 350 kilometers an hour across this Asian country. But this train is not in China or even Japan. This is the legendary Indonesian High Speed Railway. Join me on board this brand new bullet train for an extreme high speed and silky smooth journey as I show you all classes of travel, including the exclusive first class. And all this as I cross Indonesia's beautiful rainforest at record speed. Hello and welcome back to another video and a very special video indeed as I'm here in Jakarta, Indonesia at Halim Station to catch the very first high speed train in Indonesia. I'll be travelling on the whoosh service over to Bandung. Let's go! Hello from the imposing new station of Halim here in Indonesia's capital city and home to the city's high speed trains. Now at the moment, the station is looking a little rough around the edges, as I was lucky enough to ride this train before its official launch. But I'm sure this station will look amazing once it's finished. Halim station is massive, similar on scale to many Chinese high-speed stations. As a result of this, it's a really long way out of the bustling city centre, though it's well connected by commuter trains and local buses. Just inside the entrance, you can find a small exhibit about the Indonesian high speed railway, its route, and the massive impact it has had on connecting cities. The lower level also featured a few food outlets, though these weren't in use yet. I came back a few weeks later and these were open. There was even a pop up subway, which I think is rather cool. The station also features a customer service desk and ticket machines, though I'd recommend pre-booking online as these trains can be busy. With my ticket in hand, let's head upstairs. Tickets are inspected manually before you gain access to the waiting area, so make sure you have it to hand. Up here, you can find a bunch of seating and a cool model of today's train. But just wait until you see the real deal, it's much bigger. There's even a little exhibit explaining the history of Indonesia's railways. It was in Indonesian, but I found the pictures really interesting. All passengers are required to pass an airport-style security check, though this only took a minute. Once through, you can find a little art gallery and a merch shop. Railways have a large cult following in Indonesia. Anyway, enough of the station, let's head up to see this exciting new high-speed train. My train today is G1137, the 1535 service to Tegaluar. At the time of filming, just four of these trial services operated each day, with frequency slowly ramping up as demand increases. It's now an impressive 24 trains per day. And here it is my high-speed ride down to Bandung today. As you can see, this train has certainly attracted a lot of attention, with everyone desperate to have a photo taken with it, including me. This striking red train looks incredible in photos, but believe me, being stood next to this streamlined nose was even more exciting in person, and I really like this polygonal design throughout. This train is a KCIC 400 AF, part of the Chinese Fuxi Hao family, built at CRRC Qingdao Xifang. It's no doubt a familiar sight for those with experience travelling on China's expansive rail network. 
as the name implies, it's capable of a mind-blowing 400 kilometers an hour, though only reaches 350 kilometers an hour in service. Still the world's fastest train by a comfortable margin. I'll be checking out all classes on today's trip, but my seat is in premium economy, which is the lowest class of service. Premium economy is in a 2 plus 3 seating layout, with all seats rotated to face forwards. I did have a seat reservation, but as this service was quite empty, it didn't really matter. Today's route is simple. We depart from Jakarta, run through the rainforest, and before we know it, arrive in Bandung. Journey time is 46 minutes, covering 141 kilometers or about 87 miles. We depart on time at 15.35, rapidly accelerating out of Jakarta. Down below, we can see the motorway that goes to Bandung. Safe to say we'll be arriving there before they do as car journeys between the cities can take over three hours. Our acceleration is intense, yet despite this, the train remains dead silent. But before we reach top speed, let's have a look at the interior. Seats on the train look great, with a batik Megamin Dung motif, this being a traditional cloth pattern from the nearby major city of Chirebon. The comfort of these seats really surprised me, as they were actually well padded and had some pretty decent ergonomic design. There was also a soft head cushion, which could be adjusted up and down like this. By default, these seats are bolt upright, feeling unnatural. However, using this lever, the seat reclines very far back, which was much better. Between seats, you can find adjustable armrests. And on the seat in front, there's a small seat back table. This also features a cool for a drink. Down here, there's a pouch for storing your personal items, but as it's opaque, make sure not to leave anything behind. With this 2 plus 3 seating, these trains would probably feel a little bit cramped if this service was busy. However, the legroom on offer is fantastic, with plenty of space to stretch out. I mean, just look at all this room. And even if the seat in front reclines, there's still more than enough space. Back outside, we're soon approaching the realm of high speed as we accelerate out of Jakarta. With over 10 million residents, Jakarta is one of the world's largest cities, and as such, it can take a long time to get out of it, even when you have a railway like this. We are currently running at 300 kilometers an hour, which is unquestionably an impressive speed as is, but yet there's more to come. Most European high-speed trains cap out at this speed, with only a few exceptions going a little bit faster. By the way, I really have to mention how smooth this train is. Even at its top speed, the ride was silky smooth, and you could barely even tell we were moving. I was even able to stand a one hand coin on its edge, and it stayed upright for over 10 minutes. Travelling at 350 kilometers an hour for the first time was really something special, with the scenery disappearing just as quickly as it appears. At this point, we speed through Karawang Station. <coughs> the station here is planned to serve the nearby industrial park, though remains closed because it was not finished in time for the rest of the line's opening. And this extra station isn't the only thing planned either with Indonesia wishing to expand this high-speed line to cross the entirety of the country's most populated island, Java. This plan is envisaged to cut Jakarta to Surabaya journey times from a minimum of 8 hours today down to just over 3 hours. We are now a decent distance from the city of Jakarta, heading into the tropical rainforests that cover most of the route towards Bandung. But before we get there, let's take a look around the rest of the train. The majority of the train is premium economy class, with seven of the eight carriages featuring these seats for a total of 555. Carriage 5 features a buffet counter with a few small tables, though this was closed on my journey. 
Meanwhile, Carriage 4 has a wheelchair accessible toilet, toilet, though there didn't seem to be a wheelchair space. That is, except for up on this shelf, though I'm not sure how you're meant to get up there. Toilets can be found throughout the entire train. These were of course very clean and kept in great condition. The soap dispenser was working fine, as was the water. Tissues are provided for drying your hands. In line with cultural norms, a handheld bidet is provided for washing, but those preferring western style are also accommodated for. Carriage 1 features business class seating, with a 2 plus 2 layout and large leather seats. This extra space would be very much appreciated on longer journeys, but is probably not worth it on this short ride. And lastly, each end of the train features a first class area, with seats in an even more spacious 2 plus 1 layout. By the way, these classes may also receive some form of complimentary service, but if you know anything about this, then please leave a comment. And here we are out in rural Indonesia, but don't blink as you'll miss the passing views. Much of the journey is spent passing in and out of tunnels, as a result of the hilly and mountainous terrain between Jakarta and Bandung. Not long later, we begin to slow down for our first stop, but this does allow us to catch a few glimpses at the old scenic route between the two cities. And yes, a video on that is coming soon, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. For luggage, these trains are equipped with large overhead luggage racks throughout. There are also large luggage stacks near to the doors. By the way, staff were really funny about how luggage was stored, and if even a tiny bit of your bag strap was hanging off, they would force you to tuck it away. I'm not sure what that was about, but it was really quite strange. Folding coat hooks were provided between every window. And all windows feature a very effective sun blind. There is also a small window ledge which can conveniently fit a phone. Between seats, there's a European style plug socket and a pair of USB sockets. Our first station is Padalarang, served by both KCIC high speed trains and the much slower narrow gauge trains operated by Kerete Api Indonesia. The station serves the western side of Bandung, with the upcoming section of track featuring some incredible views of the city. Padalarang also sees a quick and easy connection to the free feeder train, which runs directly to the main station in the center. As we climb out of Padalarang, we get a fantastic view of the sunset over the mountains we just crossed. From this elevated section of line, you can see many sights of the city, including this forest fire. Our speed here is limited to just 200 km an hour, as this helps to reduce noise levels for the high speed line's neighbours. So, how much did this journey cost? Well, I actually travelled for free during the promotional period. A regular one-way ticket costs up to 300,000 Indonesian rupiah, with the lowest price being half of this. This might seem like a lot of money, especially with Indonesia generally being a cheap country to travel in, but it's actually a similar price to the much slower classic trains, so in comparison, this is a really good deal. After a brisk ride across the country, we pull into Tegaluar after just 46 minutes at 16.21. In conclusion, I really loved my ride on Indonesia's high-speed train. Just 10 years ago, trains in Indonesia would look like this, so the silky smooth and insanely fast modern bullet train really is going to be transformative, and I cannot wait to see the rest of the route finished. As always, let me know what you thought of this train in the comments, and to compare this legendary high-speed train with the famous Japanese Shinkansen, then click up here now. Mm. Great bro, great. Well done. Mantap. video, Indonesia high-speed train, high-speed train, speed has km. इस ट्रेन में जितनी भी सहूलतें दिखाई गई हैं बहुत ही ज्यादा जबरदस्त थी ओवरऑल बहुत ही ज्यादा वीडियो प्यारी थी बहुत ज्यादा मजा आया वीडियो देखकर
ओके आप सभी मजा आया तो गाइस यार आज की बहुत ही कमाल की वीडियो थी भाई ने हाई स्पीड ट्रेन दिखाई है यार वो जो से बहुत ज्यादा कमाल की थी 350 पर पर आवर किलोमीटर की रफ्तार से ये ट्रेन चलने वाली है यार बहुत ही कमाल की ट्रेन है यार बहुत मजा आया देखने में और जैसा कि टाइटल है और भाई ने बोला कि मैं क्यों मुझे इंडोनेशिया की हाई स्पीड ने ट्रेन ने हैरान कर दी है क्योंकि ट्रेन है ही हैरान करने वाली यार इतनी इसकी स्पीड है कि जो जिस जितना लंबा सफर हो जिसमें एक दिन लगता हो वो छतालीस मिनट में सफर तय हो रहा है तो वो बंदा देख रहा ना हो तो फिर क्या हो यार आखिर था माइंड ब्लोइंग है वाकई ये ट्रेन लंबे सफर के लिए बहुत ही जबरदस्त है जो बहुत मजा आया हमने एंजॉय किया हो कि आप लोगों ने भी एंजॉय किया होगा तो आज की दोस्तों को वीडियो अच्छी लगी उसको लाइक करना शेयर करना फंड्स करना इसके साथ चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना साथ ही इंस्टाग्राम और फेसबुक का लिंक भी नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन जो तक आप जाकर उसको भी फॉलो करें तो मिलते हैं इन शाह नेक्स्ट वीडियो का बढ़ा किया टेक केयर एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़